My name is Ray Lutz, that's R-A-Y-L-U-T-Z, and I'm with Citizens Oversight. You can see the sign right here. Um, this is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. And in this case, we're working on election integrity. We're working on the uh, elections counting process, how we actually count our votes here in San Diego County and other counties. Um, today, at three o'clock, we had a hearing here in the San Diego Superior Court uh, regarding a violation that our registrar voters, uh, we detected this violation during the process of the vote count this year and, and that they're not following the elections law. They have uh, decided that they would not include in the audit about 37 or 40 percent of the ballots. So as citizens were unable to verify that our vote is being counted correctly. We're unable to verify that there's no malfeasance going on because 40% is a very big chunk of the, the vote. Uh, the, I have this little picture here. It's sort of hard to see maybe, but all I want you to notice is there's four distinct uh, batches of ballots that they process. The first batch is processed from the precinct when you come in and vote yourself. These are the polls ballots, and that's about 195,000 ballots in San Diego. Those come in in their own boxes, and they're counted by precinct. And actually, they're handled pretty well. We know that not, there hasn't been much done to the ballots because uh, they haven't had them very long. This next section are the vote by mail ballots that they processed bef by the time election night was done and these are the votes that you see at eight o'clock in news media these are the only ones that you hear talk about then there's the late process vote by mails and the provisionals and this amounted to about 285,000 votes this year none of these are included in the audit so he's excluding all of these the the law says very clearly that vote by mails have to be included in the audit and so there really is no way around this. Uh, they cannot, the only defense they have is that we don't want to do it because it costs too much. We don't want to comply with the law. We don't want to do what you're supposed to do to honor the elections and honor your vote because it costs too much. We can't get the money. In fact, we're just kind of lazy in this county. We don't, we don't want to do it quickly enough. That's what our registrar of voters is saying by not counting including these in the 1% manual tally, our audit process that we treasure as citizens because this is the only way we have to verify that they're not monkeying with the vote. The, uh, there are other things going on here you may have heard about, but before we get into that, I'd like to introduce the lead attorney in this particular case who can talk about what happened before the judge that we had just now. Uh, please welcome Alan Garassi. Good afternoon. Today we had a hearing on a preliminary injunction request that we're making to ask this judge to, at this very early stage in the lawsuit, to make a decision that we have shown enough evidence to say that we can't prevail on the merits of the case and to please stop the registrar from certifying the vote until he complies fully with the elections code as Mr. Lutz just outlined for you. It's our position that the county's defense that it costs too much or we've done it just the way other counties have done it is not what is required by the law and is not what is required by the citizens of this county and indeed this state. The elections code section that we're utilizing was put in place as a check to make sure some of the things we've been seeing around the country don't happen in California. And with that, we've asked this judge to make an early determination so that we can make this last election meaningful. It's very difficult for a judge sometimes to tell a county official to do something or not do something, and we understand that it is difficult. But we hope this judge will stand by what we've requested and be strong on our issue.
Thank you. Thank you, Alan. I have to say I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, I think Alan did a great job. I saw the other, other attorney for the, the county council visibly trembling when he was trying to deliver his remarks. I don't know if that's because he was just uh, a little bit embarrassed that he had to try to defend the county for breaking the law, but that's his job. So you got to expect him to have to come in there, but he's trembling like this saying, I really don't want to do this because I am, in essence, defending uh, somebody who should be treated as a criminal. Now let's think about it. Michael Vu is somebody who was in Cuyahoga County, Ohio in 2004. Michael Vu was, had two subordinates who admitted and were convicted of tampering with the audit procedure, exactly what we're talking about here today. They were convicted of covering up the huge, uh, basically stealing the election, which we now know occurred in Ohio for the 2004 election. He was then quickly resigned his post and went over here and within two to four months was hired in San Diego, despite what I understand were the Board of Supervisors who didn't want that to happen and had notes of, of uh, uh, admonishment to the county, uh, the chief administrative officer who was making that move. Strange that you can violate the law, have to be retired, uh, have to say, I quit. Uh, actually, you should have been fired, but he says, I quit, and then you're hired right away. You know what that means in my mind is you are being rewarded for doing the evil deed back in Cuyahoga County. Now we have the same character, Michael Vu, violating the law. That is very, very clear. He's not including all of these in our treasured audit process. The only thing we have as citizens to make sure that our registrar voters is not completely hacking the election by moving tens of thousands of votes from 